All right, Vic in the building. What up, what up, what up? All right, all right, man, all right. So I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me to tell your story and everything. I was trying to follow everything that you sent me, so I am I guess I'm a little bit confused, and I guess you can kind of, like, smooth it out for me. So mm -hmm. you're driving for a company out of Florida, Called Jet, yes, Jet Express or Jet Cargo. What's what's the name of it? It's Jet. It's Jet Cargo. It's, I guess Jet Cargo Express. Jet, Jet Cargo Express is the name. All right, so Jet Cargo Express. So, are you having problems with them, or what's the deal? Talk to me. Uh, oh nah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it over here. I'm loving it over here. There's no problem at Jet Cargo, but. Um, I've been, you know, I've been watching your um, channel for a while, and um, lately I've been seeing a lot of people have been having issues with a uh, controversial company, Super Ego, and I've and I've been there before when I first started trucking, so I I know what they're talking about, and I know and I know the pain they're going through. So I said, you know what, let me just reach out and um and um just throw it out there for anybody that's trying to leave controversial company Super Ego, instead of making eight dollar paycheck, come over here and and make a little bit more money we can support your family. Okay, okay, okay. So you so you saw the the video with anonymous and she was she she told the story that one week she had $8 and then the following week was like I think it was around 20 $28. either either $21 or $28. Yeah, man, that's Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. That's I mean, I understood that when you get in with controversial company Super Eagle, that you you're not going to make money within the first couple of weeks. But God damn it, man! Like that, yeah. you literally yeah. going home with what eight and twenty dollar checks? Like how how they expect you to live over there? So what you saying? So what they, you they don't care? So what you saying is bump that, drop that zero, and come over to Jet Express and get with the heroes. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. I said, drop, drop them and come and come to the winner's side. Come to Death Row Records. Well, no, no, controversial. I, 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 controversial company is already Death Row Records, so I, I think we're gonna have to consider you guys bad boy. Oh uh, yeah, we, we, uh, yeah, and you gonna be able to make some money. Um, your family's gonna eat, but I'm not. I'm not gonna act like it's easy work out here. It, it, you're gonna have to be an outlaw a little bit, but you're already doing it at controversial company. So if you're already doing that controversial company, Super Ego, you might as well do over here and actually get a paycheck. Okay, okay. So, so let's uh, let's back it up a little bit because you said that you actually had a stint with them. What was what? How long you was how long you was with them before you left? I don't even think I was there for two months because this is I'm looking at one of the old statements now, and this is around when did this pay out? 6 18 2021 so i'm looking at this right here i should i should send this to you right now i grossed 50 over 5500 but only got paid 162 dollars and 16 cents and i said I, I can't live like this this is ridiculous so i just i, I took off because um this is around when i started started trucking and then everybody was telling me i was i started off at Stevens transport i was making a um, decent amount when i started leasing the truck but everybody got into my ear and said, oh, come over here. You're going to make a lot more money. You're making 5000 a week, $7,000 a week. But I guess when they were saying that, they were doing that gross. They were not doing that net. So now I know the difference between gross and net. So I went to the dark side, and I, I, I called Super Ego. Super Ego told me, hey, we can't take you right now. So, But we, we have a sister company for you, Vector Inc. So that's what they sent me to. That's one of their little sister companies. Then I went, I went over there. They try to make everything look like um, was like the sun and the moon over there. Everything good, but it wasn't. It wasn't at all. What What was the name of their sister company? But I didn't know about Out Loud Driving yet, because like I said, I was still fresh to trucking. I was six months into trucking at the time, so um, I'm brand new to the game, not knowing what I'm doing. And you telling me to drive more than ten hours. My my tolerance wasn't built up for that yet, so I I was barely doing 500 miles a day at the time, so that definitely wasn't the um the right choice for me at the time. And if you're new to trucking, definitely don't 
stay at the company, stay at those mega carriers, use them like they use you because they have a lot of programs we can use and utilize. So soak up as much gym as possible. So but, if, if you're going to leave. But, Vike, what, what was what was the name of the sister company that they sent you to? Uh, Vec, Vec, Who? Vecca Inc. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this. Vec, I'm gonna, uh, Vecca, Vecca, right Vecca Inc.? Yes. Spell that. V-E-K-A-I-N-C. Is that is that a V as in Victor or a Z as in zebra? V as in Victor. Oh, okay, so Vector Inc. Inc. Yes. yes. Okay, so that's another one of their shell companies. When they get Vincent. Talking, really Vincent. I'm on the intercom. Yes. Oh, oh, it's a sister company. It's like, oh, oh okay, like you're my friend. I'm gonna let you run your company under my company. So I'll send the um, the drivers we won't take at the time over to you, because even um, around that time, that's when you still needed like two years experience to go to Super Ego. So if you have that two years experience, they'll send you to one of their smaller companies, like their sister companies, and um, you'll drive for them until you get that experience and go on over to them. Okay. So wait, how long ago was this? Because now controversial company Super Ego is letting drivers with like four months of experience in, but at one, you yeah. said, you saying at one point you had to have two years of experience to come in with yeah. them. Yeah. How, how long ago yeah, was that? That was in 2021. Okay. I, what I got to go back and, and revisit the first make the call that I made with them, because if I'm not mistaken, I think they did say that, that, that the experience to come in is at either one or two years. Now they only requiring four months, bro. But at that time exactly. you didn't have, you didn't have the experience cause you was just now coming in and they actually sent you to their sister company to run up under them until what for as long as you get your years of experience in yes yes okay so now since they changed their criteria i mean i know you're happy where you at but did you uh, receive any phone calls from them between then and now especially with their new criteria and everything oh yeah they they taught me a lot they call me a lot. They always call me because I'm I'm ready in their database. So they called me a few months ago, um, trying to get me over there, and they was telling me this is before they had their load board um activated. They're like, oh, we're about to get a new load board. We're a lot better now. Or we're not the same company no more. Um, a lot a lot of things have changed. But I knew it was BS. I've been watching, like I said, I've been watching your shows. So I'm hearing what other drivers are saying, and I'm in other. I see what other drivers are saying on YouTube as well. And I said, no, like. It's not, that's not a smart decision for me. I'm not going to go there. Even if I'm desperate, I still, I would not go there at all. I feel you. I feel you. Okay. So with the sister company, you was only there for like, what, a couple of months? What what happened? Yeah. What happened during your time there? Like, well, I see when I was running, I was running, but when I seen I was doing all this work, I'm grossing all this money, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing no, no pay. Like this is ridiculous. Cause how am I running more? At um, how am I running more and making one hundred sixty two dollars a month? When I was at Stephen Transport leasing, I was making seventeen hundred dollars. I said a month. I mean one hundred sixty dollars a week. When I um, when I was at Stephen Transport leasing, I was making seventeen hundred nineteen hundred dollars a week. No issue under the craft account. So you're not understanding where the money go. You said you was leasing, and so you pretty much got a grasp of leasing. So when you came yeah. over, when you came over there, over to the sister company, and you was noticing that you wasn't getting the same amount of checks that you was getting while you was at Stevens, kind of made you think like, why did I leave in the first place? Did you not understood the basis of how to run the truck at the time? I had a, I would say no, I didn't, because I thought I did, because my trainer was a lease operator, so he did teach me a few things, but I still wasn't ready. I was still too, I, I feel like I still left too early trying to chase, which a lot of us do. A lot of drivers do. We go and chase the check. So when you was looking at your settlements and, and getting these $150 checks, what what all in the settlements that they was taking out? Like, like what was your gross oh. and then what was taken out? And how did you figure 
to probably adjust it so that it won't happen to you on the next following paychecks. Well, I try to I try to adjust with the fuel. I try to fuel less. I think it still wasn't working. So I said, you know what? I'm doing like I'm trying. I'm doing everything I told me because I did call the owner. The one, the, the one good thing the owner about I would say about that company, I was able to speak with the owner and I told him like, hey, I'm doing what y'all telling me to do. I'm I'm not being picky with the loads, and but I'm still not seeing the difference. So he told me, okay, instead of fueling per load, how about you fuel for the, fuel for the week? So I was trying to I, I tried that. I still didn't see a difference. So I just told him, hey, it's, it's time for me to part ways. And then that's when I started getting um I, I I started getting more threatening phone calls after I left. But during while I was there, they were just mostly trying to force me to to do more work. I like no. It's time for me to go. I'm dropping your truck off. But it's not until after I left, that's when I started getting um, threatening phone calls. You say threatening phone calls? Yes, because I found out that they were using my information um, for another driver because I still have brokers calling me about loads. So I called them and said, hey, I have a broker calling me about a load. Like, what's going on? Like, why are they calling my phone for it, saying, um, am I close to the pickup? Then I figured out that um, they were using my information for another driver to keep driving to um to keep driving. So I said, okay, if something happened um, with with that other driver and he's using my information, if he God forbid the accident happened and it's my name that's on that truck, they're coming after me. So then um I told them, okay, all right, you have to take my name out of your system because I don't um then they're like, no, they're not gonna do that. So I said, all right, I'm gonna go report y'all to the FMCSA, everything. They're like, all right, you can go do that. You can do anything you you can do anything you want. Um, I like all right, like I I will do it. Then that's what it said. One of them said that um they'll come to my house. I don't know how you're gonna come to my house when you're in a whole different country. But I said it is what it is. I live in Florida, and I welcome anyone to come on my property uninvited. Yeah, you don't want to mess with them Florida boys down there. They they this a totally different breed down there when it comes to when it comes to Second Amendment rights. Exact exactly. Yeah, you guys take Second Amendment rights <laughs> to the head, bro. Very, 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 take it very seriously. Okay, so Vika. Okay, my fault. I, I was saying Vector. So it's V E K A Inc. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is one of the sister companies. Are they still in existence? Oh yeah, they're still in existence. Okay, but well, they still. The, I I seen a couple of drivers. Okay, so this is still one of the sister companies of controversial company super eagle yes okay am i reading this correct the truck gross a little over five thousand dollars and okay in parentheses i'm assuming that's deductions 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 all the way down to a negative 162 dollars yes but if you, if you if you see it um they took um truck rent Two weeks, trailer rent. Two weeks, cargo insurance. Um, two weeks. I'm like, how the hell are you taking taking two weeks out? And I'm still at this company. They, 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 they claimed they were gonna fix it, but they never fixed it. So that was one of the, the last straws. I had, I, I ran away. Okay, wait, wait. I'm, I'm confused. You, okay, so you are. How long have, is this? The first settlement, second settlement. Which one is no, this? No. Th this was um the last settlement that said that that made, told, that made me um leave the company. And okay, I'm trying so to find, this the I'm last. I'm going through my email. So this the last. Yeah, settlement. I'm trying to go through my email to find more. Oh my God! So what was? Okay, so what was the settlements before this? Like what what would you was getting? Because you said you was It'll there be, for like about a month or a couple of months. So what would you was getting yeah, before this? It will be like like my highest one after I touched them out. I did get one over two thousand before, but I was averaging around the nine hundred nine hundred to a thousand a week. Okay, so let's just spitball it here. So the first check was a great check because they got you in to show you that okay, this is how much you be making and get you happy. So that's like around two grand, two plus. Then it just started going downhill from there. A thousand dollars the next yeah. one. Nine hundred dollars the next one, whatever, whatever's the next one, and then this one right here where the truck grossed over five thousand dollars, 
you you walking away on them 160 160 something dollars bro how and you say this is back when back in 2021 2021 bro how do you expect you guys to live off of that I have no idea. I, even though I was a single man, it, it was still hard out here. I, I was lucky. I had a sister that that um that looked out for me. I had a I had a sister that looked out for me, and I had a duplex that was um making money. But that'll be once a month. At the end of the month, after I got done paying um, the bills for the duplex, so I had to take the leftover to survive. So wait a minute. O okay, so you seen that check? You emailed it to him. You asked him like, bro, like. Help me out here. Help me understand how do I owe you guys $168? Did did you by chance ask them like, okay, well, you guys know that I'm a new driver and I'm I'm still trying to figure it out. Was it anybody there to help you figure it out? Like, was there anybody there to to, to help you be like, help me so that I can so that my next paycheck. I won't end up owing you guys a hundred and sixty-eight dollars out of a five grand check. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, the owner did speak with me after, um, after, after this. So, I, but I don't know if it was just to smooth me over and make me happy. But I did speak with the owner, but it was basically too late at that point. Yeah, I can imagine. I, yeah, yeah. We, we can't live like that, bro. Like you had to go a whole and did what? You guys got paid every week, right? Yeah. So literally, they thinking that that last nine hundred dollars is supposed to last roll over until the Nets following paycheck after you 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 virtually drove. I mean, even though the truck grossed over five grand, you virtually drove free for a week after all the deductions. Exactly. And you better pay me the respect that I gave your brother, or we're gonna have a problem. A bad one. Exactly. Exactly. I was paying rent for the truck. That's that's basically how I keep. I was paying them rent to live in that truck. Wow. So they inspected you to go another round for potentially driving for them for free. And I was not having it. And, and then that's how I found but my safety manager now. That's how I ended up finding his company on where he was at on where he was at before called Tashkent. So, and that's where, remember I told you, I was at a company where I was team driving, making $2,500 a week. Man. So I left, so I made a phone call to one of my other friends out of Florida and um, told him what was going on. And he told me about the company, he told me about the company he was at. And I just took the risk and I said, all right, I'm going to go. And that's how I found, and that's how I found that. Um, Tash Kent, best company I ever worked for in my life. I'm a great boss, but unfortunately, um, I feel like a lot of truck drivers, took advantage of his kindness to where the company ended up shutting down. But um, now he's at, now uh, the operational manager, the safety manager at this company now, Jet Cargo, and I'm, lo I'm loving you over here. Man, that's, that's, that's a crazy story time from, from controversial company, sister company of Super Eagle. Man, it's, man, wow. I, 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 I mean, I, I hear so many stories of, of drivers not getting paid, but I'm at the same time, I'm seeing the same drivers that's telling their stories, y'all still giving them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, for me, it only takes, it only takes one time. Like, I mean, if, if I was yeah. in that situation, I mean, it only takes one time. Like, bro, maybe something happened in payroll. Maybe something, maybe it was a glitch in the system. But then that following so we, week, we get, if I come, if if that following week yeah. come and it's, it's not correct in the first week and the, and the following week is just as worse, no, tell me where you want me to drop this truck at. Exactly. Well, we, we're we getting fed a dream by the dispatchers as well. It's gonna, it's gonna be a better week, my brother. It's not gonna be a better week, but they're gonna they, they they're gonna hype you up to keep feeding you the dream to keep you going. They're gonna keep you motivated. You're gonna think the money's coming. Then they're gonna show, they're showing you other paychecks from other drivers that's making five thousand, seven dollars a week. Like oh, if they could do it, you could do it as well. Like oh, damn, I could make that much money if I do this. I'm gonna just keep on going so I can make that as well. 
but it, it never comes. Well, in your case, it never came. So you, so with this new company out of Florida, you you been with them ever since you left? What 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 I said the name was Vicka Vicka Vicka. Yeah, ever since. I, yeah. So the process of that, um, I left. I went to I went to Tashkent. I was team driving over there. Then I was making great. I was making great money over there, making the most money I ever made in my life over there. So I was able to help. I was grateful for that. I was able to help my myself and my family. Then, but like I said, a lot of truck drivers took advantage. I, I was, in my opinion, took advantage of the owner's um, kindness because say say if you were short, you're making twenty five hundred dollars a week. But you know, when you're making this much money, this is your first time making this much money. Some drivers will blow their money. So they can't pay their bill. The owner still look out for you, and he'll help you pay a bill. That's how good he was. So then, um, like say you supposed to be out for four weeks and four days home. Some drivers they'll do four weeks, stay a week home. I'm not gonna lie, I did it. I did it a few times. I stayed a week home. Or, or some drivers they'll do they'll do um two months out or three months out, three months out on the road, but then they'll go home for three months at the same exact time. So eventually, so eventually, all that caught up. So that one company right there, you said closed down or closed down shop, and yeah. the, the guy that was that was there, you lucked up again with him at the new company where you at now. Yes. Well, oh, then after that company shut down, I bought my own truck. So I ended up buying my own truck. I'm seeing the advertising on Facebook, got sold a dream again, and. I, w- I said, you know what? I'm gonna buy this truck. I bought this. I bought a truck from Penske. Then I was. I'm, I put. I leased it under this um, company. I'm not gonna say their name because I'm not gonna um, build, burn no bridges with them because it's not their fault because the rates are horrible right now. So I'm not gonna blame them for that. So it basically I was using money out of my savings to maintain everything. So then um my then the, my old operation manager where he's a, he's a safety manager here now. He made a, he he gave me a phone call and told me, "Hey, I'm at this company. We're we'll making money over here. What, what do you think about coming over here?" And I told him, "Hey, I'm over here right now. I just want to try this out." But like I said, I kept chasing. I, I kept trying to chase the dollar until. But luckily, I stopped to where um, I didn't keep chasing the dollar to where I became bankrupt. So after I said, like, "Okay, this is obviously not working for me," and that's when I came over here. I've been here for about um a, for I've been here for a few weeks now. And it's been good. All the miles, I've been driving all the miles I wanted. You're a company driver. Um, company driver, sixty cents a mile. Okay, okay. Now this company is out of Florida, right? Yeah. Now there's a a lot of drivers such as yourself is is hailing from the great state of Florida. Some of them are finding it difficult to find a trucking job because some of the comp- trucking companies are not hiring out of Florida due to the fact that freight is kind of scarce to get them back home to Florida. How did you manage to find a local company? Is it uh, is, is it hard as what people say it is to find a job down? I'm gonna find a trucking job in Florida. It, it is, but um, the secret I would let people know to find a, like especially if you have a year or two years experience. And you're out of Florida. Um, I would say to go to Orlando. That's where a lot of these companies. It's basically the Chicago of Florida. You'll you'll find the same you'll find the same companies out of Florida, but they actually pay. I'll try to find something out of Orlando, Florida. That will probably yes. work. Yes. Okay. Because I made a suggestion to to a young driver to move up to Georgia, or if they had any family or friends that they can use the Georgia address. But you say Orlando, though. Jesus Christ. Mister, you okay in there? Oh, my God. Oh, oh. You all right? You want oh. from me, you fucking cocksucker? Where's my fucking money? I'll get it. I'll get it. My neck, Tony. Yes, Orlando, and um, you'll, you'll, find a lot of, you'll find a lot of companies over there. And the um, FedEx, um, for newer drivers, um, there's a FedEx that actually hires new drivers. And I was, I didn't even know that. So my friend told me about that, but I'm happy where I'm at now, so that's why I'm sticking to this company right now, but if um, anybody's looking for a spot, FedEx um, out of Orlando would hire you, and I think um, Dollar General, I have a couple, I have a friend that works at Dollar General, if you're willing to work, and you don't want to leave the state of Florida and make the same amount of money, 
or near the same amount of money, um, Dollar General is a great um, company to work for out of Florida as well. Nah, you can have Dollar General, bro. Nah, you you can hey. have, you can have the dollar accounts, hey. my guy. Hey, I, the, the, this is not a dollar account. This is a Dollar General. I have a friend that works there. Because, he, he, you know, a lot of truck drivers actually sell a dream. He showed his pay stuff. I like it. That, that is nice. But he just said you have to work hard. Yeah, but you gotta yeah, work. Sorry. You you gotta work for it. They they ain't they not giving yeah. it to you. This this ain't a this ain't a drive and bump the dock type of job. It's a drive, bump the dock, and get out and unload. Mm-mm, I'm good. I'm good unless unless I can finagle the system now. If I can bring like a rider with me, and I can I can finagle the rider to come with me, and I can like put them on the payroll, but. It, I, I don't know. I uh, I think it was Hogan. Uh, they got the dollar account out in what's that Z? It's in Ohio. I can't I I can't remember the uh, the the city. I I want to say Zanesville. Zanesville. Yeah, Zanesville, Ohio. They got they got a dollar account with the Dollar General there. And I asked them. I says, "What's your policies on riders? Well, they got to be like the age of fourteen or something like that." I was thinking to myself, I was going to be like, if I if I was to do that, I would probably get one of my family members, an 18 year old, and be like, hey, bro, you want to come on the road with me and make some money? Help me unload these boxes, bro. Hey, 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 that that's smart because because uh, I, I, I didn't know anybody else thought like that because like like I said, I don't know if I mentioned that I'm Haitian, so I have a few family members that just came from Haiti. Like, hey, you want to come make some money? Hey, all you gotta do, um, get get these loads out, get um, uncouple uncouple the trailer a few times. Hey, I pay, I pay you a decent amount, more than five hundred dollars a week. Vic, man, I appreciate you jumping on and sitting down with me today, man. I really do appreciate it. Telling your controversial company super ego story, man. Thank you very much for that. Nah, I I, I appreciate you because I don't think I don't know if you know how much we appreciate your channel, bro. Because before I even got into trucking, I think that's actually how I found, I decided on Stephen Transport. I think you did a phone call to Stephen Transport before as well. I was, I was, um, I used to be a, um, a sergeant at the gymnastic tennis center. And I just be on YouTube, just looking up videos this whole time. And I just, and, um, and I would just hear your videos. I'm hearing you talk to other people. I'm like, oh, dang, okay. Oh, this might be a good company for me to go to for real. And you ask the questions that we all want to know. Cut, like you, you don't you don't cut no corners, nothing. So I do want to say I appreciate you because you, you're one of the channels um, that helped me jump, um, just take the leap of faith and get into trucking. Man, I, I am blessed to hear that. Thank you very much for that, man. Thank you. Well, I, I didn't want to say that. I appreciate you a lot, and just keep doing what you're doing, bro. Like, because it, 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 I know it's help, as much as you're trying to help me, I know it's helping other drivers out there as well. Uh, in too deep like Omar Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged Fucking up my homes, look Patrick You swift to jump shift like a chief Been crying on my line like Therese But it ain't all you, it's me Blame it on the things I went through